Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mark with the Eternal Lighting Company and we are going to go ahead and do a quick little video demo. I'm going to try to make this short and sweet and just explain the features here. What we're going to talk about today is the master slave functionality of the Eternal Lighting Cube RGBA wireless DMX fixture. This is the fixture with 10 millimeter diodes and what we've done is we've crammed in as many LEDs as we could possibly into a still 8 inch by 8 inch fixture which means this still can be used for truss warming it fits perfectly inside of your trussing uh, box trussing so we've got uh, 201 LEDs uh, we added three more LEDs uh, prior to this video the older models actually only had 198 but now they're 201 so I want to point that point that out alright so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna show you how to initiate master slave mode between two fixtures but what you would do is you would set all the additional fixtures to slave mode. First of all, you turn the fixture on and you go to SLND. And when you see NASE, that's master, you press return. And then you go to the receiver, which is a switch right here. And this fixture has the wireless receiver built into it. So this is an all in one fixture. There's no wireless receiver that you have to plug into a DMX input um, or any, anything else. Uh, it's a completely all-in-one wireless device. Um, so here's what's happening. The master is now transmitting a signal, and that's what the red blinking light tells you. Okay, It's transmitting a wireless DMX signal. We're going to go to the next fixture and set this up as slave by going to SLND, press enter, and when you see slave, you press enter. Okay. Now what you would do is turn on the receiver, and it's going to automatically start blinking green. One of the main things that you need to pay attention to is that the group colors are matching on all your fixtures. That's how it knows to communicate with each other because they have auto-selecting groups uh, that uh, will you know, correct themselves if there's interference, but they have to still be in the same group. So now what we've done is we've created this fixture in Master Slave. Now here's the neat part. You go to the Master Fixture and you can go to let's say um, color mode and what you want to do is you go to color one or two that's green so now it was as simple as that imagine 30 fixtures in the room and you want to do green up lighting well all you've had to do was set this one fixture and all the lights are set up in the room it's that simple you don't have to go to each fixture and set the color mode so anyways, that's a real quick demo of that. Now you can also do simple things such as a um, fade mode. And you, you have a selection of different speed modes. So you can go with number one, which is really slow, or number eight, which is really fast. I'm going to back up so you can see. Both those fixtures are in sync with each other. One is actually just tilted down a little bit lower. But they will fade within each other. So imagine 30 fixtures around a room, you want to do a fade, you walk up to one fixture, you set that speed setting, they're all going to be within sync of each other. Now the same thing works for um, auto mode. So you go to SHND, press enter, go to color, auto mode, press enter, there's a speed setting for that, press enter. The first setting I had it was a really, really slow setting, so I wanted to go ahead and jump it up a little bit so you could see that. Um, okay, here's something else neat. What you can do is you can take a DMX controller, and you know before you could have uh, purchased a transmitter, which is still great because all you do is you plug this into your DMX controller with a DMX cable, and then you plug in a uh, power supply to it, and then that right there will communicate the wireless uh, DMX signal for you. All right, so now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you a trick. Without using a transmitter, you go out of your DMX board and you go into the master fixture. All right, so now that we've got it into the master fixture, what you'll notice is right now I've got channel 1 is red, channel 2 is green, and channel 3 is blue. So both the fixtures are on blue, right? I can control that by uh, also selecting... So now there's blue and green. Now let's imagine you have some other Eternal Lighting Cube fixtures. The neat thing about this 
If you set those other fixtures, like this one, to the same type of channel mode, or let's say you have the Cube 5, you would set this into a uh, four channel mode, just like these are set. And uh, let's say you had another wireless receiver, uh, another uh, DMX fixture right there. What you do is uh, you basically set them to uh, all work within each other. So now they're all set to amber because they all have an amber diode in them. And then you can turn the amber off. And now they're all controlling all of those. So this one fixture, in effect, actually is being the transmitter to communicate with all your fixtures. So if you bought some Cube RGBA fixtures before and now you want to upgrade to some Cube 5s, this will control all of those fixtures. It's a real neat way to do it. Uh, something that I thought was pretty uh, important to explain to everybody about the master-slave functions and what it can really do, how powerful it is, and how quick it is to set any color in the room. Let's go back and show you one other uh, scenario here. Uh, you remember how to uh, manually color set or, or color mix any color, right? So what we're going to do is go to the manual mode and we're going to go into the color settings and we're going to go ahead and program a color. Um, we're going to go to green and we're going to put that at, uh, let's go 60. And then we're going to go blue that's at 50, and white at zero, and red at, let's go at zero for that one. Instead of going to each fixture and, and setting these colors, all you have to do is set one, and all the lights are all set in the room. That's it. This is Mark with Eternal Lighting, and uh, we hope to uh, see some comments below. If you have any questions, please feel free. Sorry it went seven minutes. We'll talk to you later.